Hi, I'm Wingspan, and I'm Pounce. Can you tell us apart? We're the Decepticon clones. Rodimus Bill here, and today we're going to review the Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Decepticon clones Wingspan and Pounce. Now this is the Cybertronian villain series, and we have Wingspan and Decepticon Pounce. I guess Pounce wasn't uh, big enough to trademark alone, so they had a trademark Decepticon Pounce. That happens. Now and then, uh, here's Earthrise War for Cybertron Trilogy. You've got Wingspan and Pounce in their uh, uh, beast modes. You've got some cool artwork, and it says Double Pack. And on this side, it is just that poster. And on the back, you've got Wingspan is Robot to Bird in Seven Steps. Pounce is Robot to Animal in Nine Steps. There's the top. There's the bottom. Now let's get these guys out of the package and see what we've got. And now that we have them out of the box, first we're going to show you the display. This is the display case. And it does come with a red decoder. And we're going to find this is exclusive to the Siege and Earthrise. And this is Aquatran. If you can read that, it says Aquatron. And these make one big map of the known Transformers universe. And then next we're going to bring out the instruction booklet. <clears throat> Winkspan and Decepticon Pounce. 8 plus. There is Robot to Bird in 7 steps. And then the other side it is Robot to Puma in 9 steps. And this just tells you how to reveal the map. No weapons at all, which was pretty disappointing, but <clears throat> that's what they are. Now we're going to bring in Wingspan first. And let's see, he's got a silver face, a white helmet, he's got white arms, dark blue hands. He's got dark blue, a thin line right there. He's teal, he's got the uh, Wingspan logo, little Decepticon logo. He's got purple and white on his feet. His wings are purple. Now, this is a remold, a recolor of the Titans Return, which we will show you later on. And on the back, there he is, teal, purple, and that is uh, wingspan. Now, for his articulation, elbow goes 90 degrees, um, upper arm swivel, bicep swivel, couldn't think of the word. 360 degrees on the arm. It does go out that way. The head is on a, not a ball joint, but it does rotate 360 degrees. Uh, nothing at the waist. Nothing at the wrists. Uh, the feet go up more than 90. They go back 90. It does the whole split. And then you have a 90 degree uh, knee and nothing at the ankle tilt and that is wingspan and you can kind of see the bird head the bird feathers the claws his back of his legs are hollow and that is wingspan now we'll look at pounce <clears throat> again almost the exact same clones they look just like the only difference is the leg right here but everything else is the same except for the symbol on the chest same teal, same blue, everything's the same. Of course, the back's a little different. Here, you can have this. Kind of keep them similar. Uh, he's purple. He's white. He's uh, purple. And his feet are not that hollow because you got the uh, puma legs in it. And then him, same thing. Head rotates. Arms out, bicep swivel, elbow, uh, nothing at the hands, no no wrist, feet the same, everything's the same. So the idea of the clones was two robots that look exactly the same in robot mode and turn into two completely different uh, vehicles or animals.
The Autobots had their plane and race car, and the Decepticons had pounce and wingspan. Which I never had the original G1s, but I did have the G1s on the Autobots, which we will show you later. Now, for our first robot to robot comparison, we're going to bring in Titan's Return Wingspan. Now, just to compare these two guys, there's a new sticker. There is This is white, this is teal. Up here, you got the blue, and this has a thin blue line. His face is white, his is silver. You got some yellow, and the main difference is you got kind of pink and you got kind of purple. But this is just the Titan's Return. These are the original Autobot clones, Cloud Raker and Fastlane. Notice how they are a bit taller. And then Cloud Raker came out, again, Titan's Return set with these two guys came in a set. I kind of wish they had both Autobots, but that is how these guys compare. And we're going to show you they are legend size figure. So that is Bumblebee from Titans Return legend size. This is a Battlemaster Caliburst. That is how those guys compare. And this is a Power of the Prime Pretender. And then we're going to have uh, Titans Return Ape Face. And that is how all the robots line up. And just to show you how they compare against other sizes, this is Deluxe Mirage from the uh, Seas line. And this is Earthrise Voyager Starscream. So that's Legend size, Deluxe size, and Voyager size. And that is how those all compare. Now to transform these guys, we're going to do Wingspan first. All right, first thing I do is I'm flipping his head around. And then you can rotate from the elbow over 90 degrees. And then you move this whole arm forward like that. Other side, elbow rotate, and then pull the whole arm forward like that. <clears throat> and then while you're here, you could pull the beak's head up and turn it around. Now here's where the instructions get a little confusing because you can do this two ways okay it says to rotate the feet 90 degrees all right and then you could extend these out and what you want to do is pull this whole area out now see this tab right here this is one of the configurations underneath here there's a little notch so you could lock that in okay and that side's done. And then the other one, see how you pull the, it's double jointed. Flip the wing out. And then you could lock that. And the wing you just have you want it. You can have it like up and down. And that is wingspan. Now the directions <clears throat> don't really, are not clear about, it just says you fold the legs out. So I've also seen some of the directions or some of the pictures have them like that. Now when he's like this, you can move them like that. You can move the wings. You can get very creative like that. But like I said, the directions don't really show you how to lock it in. And then you lock that one in. And then you have your wingspan. And we'll bring in the direction. See, it just has you pull the legs up, and that's it. So you go from twisting the legs to folding them up, but it's not clear on what you do there. And that is Wingspan. And now let's look at him. He's got a red eye, um, white head, he's got teal, he's got white, he's got the purple talons or claws which are pretty cool he's got the purple wings so he's a purple like a dark blue with teal you got this little flap can go up and down you know the wings you can move them a little before they pop out so they do go up and down but like I said if you want to unhook that one little area you get more uh, movement and the wings you can have like that 
So, like I showed you, the directions are not very clear about doing this. But that is the proper configuration. And <clears throat> we're going to bring in the Titan's Return mold of this guy just to compare the differences. Um, as you can see, it's more pink and not purple. There's more teal on this guy. This guy is all blue. And like I said, more teal on this guy, but the main difference is the pink and the teal. And that is those guys. Now, these are Titan's Return Mold. So what you have right here, this little uh, groove right there, this is Ape Face. So what you're going to do is you're going to snap that in. And Ape Face is going to ride Wingspan into battle because it is a Titans Return uh, remold figure. Um, unfortunately, there are no places for uh, the blast effects because these came on the Siege line on the War for Cybertron trilogy and Titans Return was the Prime Wars trilogy. So unfortunately, you can't use these guys in it but it is compatible with Titans Return. And that is our wingspan. <clears throat> now, for pounce. All right, he's a little more. What you want to do is I always like to fold the head first. Again, we'll look at the directions. You know, it has you doing the arm once, then the legs, then turn it over and fix everything there. <clears throat> All right, so once we get that done, Again, it's the same thing where the arms fold in, and the arms fold in, and these have legs that just pull out like that. You got the other leg, and you just pull it out like that. Uh, let's see, we can fold the head up like that now for the bottom. Now, we'll do one leg first. <clears throat> what you want to do is rotate this at the white leg, like there. Fold it like that, and then pull this leg out. Now it's very loose, but that's the way they are. Other side, we'll take it, rotate it, fold it down, and we can fold out this other leg. Then you could just pull this down with the tail. And there you have your pounce. And then just straighten them up. It's kind of like the Ravage figure where you just got to mess around with them and that is pounce so from the front he looks pretty good he's got the red eyes on the side you can kind of see the hand right there and you can see the hollowness of the arm the back I do wish they could have done something with the toes but um, still there he is from the top He's a pretty cool figure. I mean, like, they do look almost the same in um, robot mode. Now, for articulation, I kind of do wish, even on these guys, the mouths would move. But, I mean, the head can move up. It can go down. You got a full 360 on the front paw. And then you got the more than 90 degree bend there. Back, this just rotates the leg. And then this rotates tail goes up goes down however you want and this just lays down there so you just gotta get this guy all nice and settled now let's see and let's see there's from the back which is kind of I, I just something like a little ankle tilt would have been a lot better for this guy but and this is it so now you've got two completely different um, alt modes when they look the same in robot mode. Now, for comparisons, first we're going to bring back the other wingspan. That's just how those guys look. I, I'm Out of the two of them, I think I like this guy better. I like the more teal. Um, we're going to bring in the original G1 clones. This is 
uh, Cloud Raker and Fast Lane. So you got a, a plane and a car, and then you got the two clones. And this is the Titans Return. So if you want to get the sets, these are the two sets. You've got one set with um, Cloud Raker and uh, Wingspan, and then you got one with Pounce and a different color Wingspan. So those are your two sets. And I thought this would be neat. This is Laser Beak from the Transformers Dark of the Moon. I thought it would be neat to compare Laser Beak with Wingspan. And this is an old figure. One of these days I might do a review on him. So that is how those guys. And since it is a Legends figure, here is Legends Bumblebee. And here is the ape face, um, I forget what you call these things, back from Titan's Return. And that is it for, and then, oh, we're going to bring in, um, oh, I forgot this guy's name. But he is also a Titan's Return figure. It's not Solus Prime, oh, Bombers, I think his name is. And on the top of here, again, you have that the area right there so we're just gonna pull this guy out plop this in there and now Bomburst or whatever the guy the prime inside Bomburst I guess I should have looked it up but is gonna ride pounce into battle so there you have your two clones being ridden into battle with Titan Masters, because these are the Titan Master remold lines. And that is it. And we'll just pop these guys off. And actually, let's try something. Let's take our Caliburst. Let's see if this is a 5mm peg. No, it's not. It's a screw hole. Okay, and that is that for the... Oh. Now, transform these guys back. First, we will do wingspan. So you want to do is fold over the wings like that. And we'll just say it's a little groove right there. We'll just pull the leg down, turn it, and pull the leg down, rotate this whole area, turn the leg, flip the head back, turn them over. This rotates once. And then twice, this rotates once, twice, turn the head over, and now we've got wingspan <clears throat> and pounce. I'm just going to close up the, the uh, puma legs. He's a puma. So actually, you're going to do it with the bottom first. We're going to extend this, rotate this, and push this back. All right, we'll do the other side. We'll push this back, extend it, and then rotate it right at the white. Fold the tail back and up. And the legs, we're just going to, or the arms, we're just going to take the arms, rotate them 90 degrees, rotate these. Now these are properly aligned because the elbows. Flip this back here. And this you could, uh, well, you could have it hang down like a tail. But I like to be consistent, so what I like to do is like that. Everything folds nice and neat. Turn the head around. And now you are back to pounce. And from the back, they still look pretty similar. You got the, the piece flipping out and the head flipped over. And that is our Decepticon clones, part of the War for Cybertron, Earthrise, and these are Cybertronian villains. Okay, and that is about it. So I hope you like this review. If there is a link below from Amazon or Entertainment Earth or some other affiliate, please feel free to click on them and buy it from them. I do get a little credit. It helps me buy these guys because there is a lot of toys coming out. And I do have a day job. Uh, like, subscribe, 
Uh, I'm on Facebook, Rodimus Bill's YouTube page. I got my own Facebook page where I post my videos. Turn on notifications, leave comments, tell me what you like, what you don't like. Share with all your friends, all that good stuff. Subscribe and watch. I've got over 600 videos. We do Transformers, we do Superheroes, we do the latest toy reviews, like we just saw these, and Double Dealer at Target. So just check out my channel, Rodimus Bill, subscribe, like, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. And as Rodimus Prime once said, till all are one, till all are one, see you next time.